2019-19 plate Honda VFR 800X Crossrunner. The bike has done just 4,751 miles. And it's a really nice spec and it's in really nice condition. So I'm gonna give you a look around now. I'm gonna show you every single mark that I can find on the bike. So starting at the front, we've got a Honda OE adjustable touring screen. It's quite small, but we've got these two clips. You push these clips in and then it goes down. Obviously use both fingers at the same time. It'll go down in one go, but it's, uh, it's not a large screen like you get on some other bikes. It's in nice condition. So unless you wanted it for more wind buffeting protection, I don't see any reason why you would change that. The gray is like a satin. It's not a glossy finish. It's in nice condition. Lights are in nice condition. So there's a beak round here. I've got these engine bars on. And somebody has put some like sort of protective tape or something around them. Uh, I don't know if they had something bolted on there. I can't see anything. I can, I can feel the bolts through the tape, but things like that, we don't take that off. There's no purpose to, and it may suit somebody else, so we leave that alone. Bars, certainly from here, look in very nice condition. So do the fork legs. Uh, from here, you can see radiator, and that looks in excellent condition too. Plastic finish, well, again, it's a satin finished uh, front mud guard. Can't see any damage at all on that. And the front tire is brand spanking there. Still got the knobbly bits all over it. And that is a BT023. So that's a sports touring tire as well. Forks, great condition. A couple of tiny little stone chips. Brake discs are in excellent condition. Wheels look excellent. There might be the odd mark from having wheels and tyres changed, but they certainly aren't in bad condition. Looks like that's not glue. That will be a... It's got Carl Nash stickers over it, like a, a data tag kind of system. So if you ever see marks on a bike like that, that's usually the results of that. It's not a belly pan, but it's got these like decorative stainless panels that gives the effect of a belly pan. Uh, and again, got another cooler here, and we've got a guard on that. These are all in nice condition. Looking at the guards, or the engine bars, all in nice condition. Again, satin panels, uh, like a two-tone grey, rather than traditional glass paint. All in really nice condition. No damage on the end of the indicator, or the brake lever, or the bar end, or the mirrors. Got these rubber sort of puppy cover things on your, uh, your grips. It's OE, looks like Honda OE grips underneath that. Uh, it is because you've got the heated grips as well. Um, if it was my bike, I'd rip these hideous things off straight away, but that's a personal choice, so we will leave them on. But the reality is you're not going to feel much heat through six or seven mil of foam. But if you wanted them off, we'd pull them straight off for you. Um, as at the front there, there is some protective tape that the previous owner has put down there. Uh, not sure why but there is a, a protective sort of tape on the front of the tank. It's doing no harm and more protection is better than no protection. So again, we'll be leaving that alone. All the dash uh, you've also got in here, you have a power port in there or a, a cigarette lighter. You can put USB charger in. All the dash does everything it should do. As I said, you've got 80 grips on this. That button which turn the traction control off. But everything's really nice. Top of the tank. It's pretty much perfect. I can't see can't see any marks at all. The tank pad on, we didn't put it on, so uh, I can't confirm or anything there's anything underneath that, but 
looking at the rest of the bike, I certainly don't think anybody will have covered anything up. The one thing I would say is that you can just about, just there, in the right light. So with satin paint, one of the problems with it is you can clean it, but you can't, you can't polish it. You can't do anything other than just clean it. Um, and it can show every mark up. So there is a tiny mark from there to there that you just see in some lights, but I can't feel it. You know, it's not a scratch. It's not a little rubber, just sort of full disclosure. Um, got these foam gripper pads on the side of the tank. They are fitted down okay. It's lifting slightly at the front. Can't feel any glue in there. Uh, there obviously has been at some point. We'll just leave that alone. Again, that's for a new owner to decide if I like that or not. Frame rails all nice, engines all nice. Uh, there is like the residue, a little bit of a, of a sticker, which we can get that off on that frame, so that won't be there. Uh, all the engine looks absolutely spot on. All underneath, spot on. No marks at all, looks like nothing's ever touched down. Obviously got a few marks on the hill guard from the rider, that's to be expected. There's no signs of any kind of accident damage whatsoever on this bike. It's got a plastic rear hogger which looks OE. Tiny, tiny little mark on that hogger. I don't know what that would be from, but there is a tiny, tiny little mark on it. I don't know if it's from luggage or something, I'm not sure. When you're looking at the rear wheel, couple of little marks that's going to be where somebody's put an airline on there but pretty much no rear tire also uh, and again it's a bto 23 so you've got a matching set of brand new tires on this bike i mean our sport touring tires so they're perfectly suited to this bike seats are in good condition and then it comes with all the metal work for a rear top box um, if you wanted the Honda OE luggage, these are integrated pannier racks. So if you bought the Honda panniers, but they're very expensive and they don't come with this bike, um, they just clip straight on there. The metal work, that, that set up there, that would take a top box from SW Motec, Shad, Givy, you know, you'd be able to make any of the top box plates fit in that area. So it doesn't come with a top box, but you've got all the metal work metal work there to allow you to have a top box. Rear end is all completely sanded. Again, all this side, it's very reflective and pretty much the same as the other side. Chain's obviously got signs of a little bit of use, but not much. It's in very, very nice condition. So, rear hug around this side, it's again got a couple of marks on it, and then we can see that you know, it must be a white painted product which has then got some kind of a treatment or something on, because we can see bits of chipping off. If I had to guess, and it is a guess because obviously it's a used bike, we don't know, I would guess that the previous owner has bought this second hand and put it on, but I don't know but there's a little bit of chipping just there. There's some paint chipping just there. There's a little bit chip there, but look around the bike. It's brand new, everything else. You know, good old brand new. So um, just so you're aware, that is how it is. Again, no marks of any kind of damage or anything at all. Seats are in good condition. Another foam tank pad. Again, no marks on the bar end or the clutch lever tiniest tiniest little mark and then the mirror but i mean like it's an absolute nothing but just so that you can see it so on the engine bar that's the first scratch i found on the whole bike so there is a little scratch just there that's about two feet away that's about a foot away and we're getting really close you can see there is just a little scratch just there. Again, the decorative stainless panel has got no damage or scratches. All the forks are exactly the same as the other side. 
and the indicator here there's no damage on the indicator but if you just look at that tiny little gap there so they should sit just flush like that and they're kind of like super secure this side is just pushing out just a touch but it's still super secure and it works so you know i'm guessing it's had some kind of a lock of some sort but that's not going anywhere so i don't want to push it and break it but that is how it is so again we don't do surprises here so the bike is in our showroom it's sitting born in kent we are open from 9 a.m to 5 p.m tuesday to saturday and you're very welcome to come along and see it wherever it suits you if you have any questions at all please do give us a call